Hi, I'm Robbie Swift. I'm going to show you how to rig your new Neopride freeride sail. We're going to rig the V8. It's a sail with two mini cams. The other freeride sails, the process is exactly the same, but you can ignore the part that has the cams. First, you unclip the little loop, and it's good to find a grassy or at least safe area to rig your sail. You don't want any sharp objects, and you don't really want to rig the sail in a car park or on concrete. Roll the sail out and make sure that there's no sand on here, nothing dirty in here. Make sure that the mast goes together perfectly. And we always recommend that you use Neopride masts and booms. The sails are really designed around Neopride masts and booms. They have a specific curve and it makes the sails work much better. You put the mast in and on a cam sail, you have to make sure that the mast goes on top of the cams. It doesn't need to go through the cams when you're rigging the sail. It needs to go on top of the cams. Obviously with the other sails, you don't need to worry about that. Push it as far as you can from the bottom, but don't force it, and then come up to the middle. And you can pull it the rest of the way until it's in the top from the middle of the sail. It's important to go and check that the mast is in the top of the sail. If you pull the downhaul without the little uh, button being inside the top of the sail, then you can break the top of the sail, so make sure it's in here. Put your finger in and make sure it's there. The settings of the sail are always on the bottom here. The mast is the mast length, the base is the length you should set your extension to. The boom is the total length of the boom and the luff is the total length of the mast with the extension. This one goes on 20, so you adjust it like this, you push it up from the bottom and then you click the extension into place. Then you thread the rope through the pulleys and it starts from the outside and goes to the inside. There's a number on the extension two, one, two, and then it goes into the cleat. You need to pull enough tension on the downhaul to get the mast to show really easily in the boom cutout and that way it'll be easy to put the boom on. And you take your boom, put it over the sail and you just put the boom in the middle when you're doing this part of the rigging. You don't need to set the adjustment of the boom height to the correct height. Just make it easy so you're going to be able to pull some outhaul tension to put the cams on. You thread this rope through the pulley system. I'm using an adjustable outhaul system here. You don't necessarily need to. Obviously with a more powerful V8, it's quite nice to be able to pull and release some tension. And if you're sailing on flat water in gusty conditions, it's nice to have that, but you, you definitely don't need that to rig your sail. I'm gonna use the bottom hole here. The top hole is for light wind conditions when you really need extra power. Generally, you're gonna use the bottom hole for all kind of full powered sailing conditions. Okay, once you've threaded it, you pull some tension on the sail so that there's tension here. And then come back down to the bottom of the sail. Undo the downhaul. And that'll make it nice and easy to pop the cams on here. You put one hand inside and you push with the other hand from the back of the cam. Same thing on the one above the boom. And they slip in really easily like that. Before you pull the final tension on the sail, you want to come here to the middle of the mast and there's a little arrow that says mast joint and just rub the mast there and make sure it's together. If the mast's not properly together, you can break the mast. So if you feel that there's a gap, make sure you de-rig the sail and put the mast together properly and rig it back up again. It's better to use a harness hook so you don't hurt your hands. And we also recommend sitting down so you just push with your leg and you don't put any strain on your back. And you pull the sail down until you've got the correct tension. And you can wrap the rope back up and you can fold it nicely and place it inside this little net that's here to store it away safely. Then it's time to go and put the boom to the right height. Make sure that the cams are in the right place. Sometimes they can slip up a little bit on the mast when you're pulling the downhaul, so make sure they're on straight. Close the zippers and do one final check at the mast joint here to make sure that the mast is together. Once you've finished rigging the sail and everything's set up correctly, you're gonna to wanna to put the correct batten tension onto the battens. The two battens that have cans are the ones that are the most important and they need the most tension. That's gonna give the sail a good profile and make it nice and stable. You unclip the back cam with your fingers and you can twist the adjuster around a couple of times and then put enough tension so that the sail is nice and full and you don't see any crinkles at all in the sail. The bottom one doesn't have a cam, but it also needs a lot of tension. And then when you get to the battens up above the cams, you can even see a couple of crinkles in the sail because it's worse to have a lot of tension on those top battens than to have too little. But basically you want a clean sail without too many wrinkles. Now you've rigged the sail correctly, 
The most important setting on the tuning of the sail is a downhaul. Like I said, we want you to use Neil Pride masks because the sails are designed around Neil Pride masks. But we're going to have a visual trim system on the sails at the top here on all the sails this year, and that's going to help you know exactly how much downhaul tension to put on. So there'll be a maximum and a minimum, and you want to pull it somewhere in the middle of them. And you only want to play with the downhaul between those settings. If you don't have it inside those settings, you've got too much or too little downhaul. How it feels when you have too much downhaul is that the sail feels very light, but it feels twitchy and it feels hard to get the power in the sail. And also on these free ride sails, when you're going fast, the nose of the board will tend to fly away. When you have too little downhaul, the sail will feel powerful, but it'll feel very heavy and it will actually be harder to get planing. And then when you're going full speed, it will really stick the board down into the water. So it's important to get the, the tension on the sails right, but really only play between those, those settings on the visual trim system. And then the main setting that we use to change the power in the sail is the outhaul here. Obviously with adjustable outhaul, you can do it on the water. You can make the sail nice and full like that and it can be touching the boom all the way when it's really light. And then when the wind gets stronger, you want to pull it harder and make the sail nice and flat. And the final thing to trim with the sail is the boom height. We kind of say shoulder height is about the right height to have in normal sailing conditions. If the wind's really light and you want to get planing quicker, you can put the boom right up, you know, to kind of nose height. And then if it's really windy, really choppy conditions, you get more control from having the boom down lower. So then you can put the boom down, you know, kind of below chest height. And that's pretty much all you need to know about boom height. So this is the whole range of the Neil Pride Freeride sails. We've got the V8 here, which is taking a lot of technology from the slalom sails. It's got two mini cams. It's a really stable, really fast sail. It's super easy to rotate. And you know, it's like the flat water blasting sail for people who just don't want to buy a full on slalom rig. Then we've got the Speedster, which is a new sail this year. It's kind of everything that the V8 has, but without the cams, it's just a slightly easier to use flat water blasting sail. Uh, very stable, very fast, just a tiny bit easier to jibe and water start because it doesn't have the cams. After that, we have the Ride, which is your classic bump and jump cruising around flat water sail. No cams, easy to jibe, easier to duck jibe, a little bit less stable than the Speedster and probably more suited for a, more like a freestyle wave or a magic ride kind of a board, people who are learning to jibe. And then we have the Fusion, which is the most radical of the free ride range. That sail is even usable for, you know, a small onshore bump and jump, doing small jumps. It's a little bit more powerful, a little bit faster than the wave sails, a little less maneuverable, but it's still a very maneuverable free ride sail. Both the Fusion and the Ride are available in HD or non-HD construction. You can see the HD here that has a X-ply reinforced monofilm. And then the non-HD is the regular monofilm that's a tiny bit lighter and more see-through but depending on your durability needs, you can choose between those two options.